Welcome back to the Mahi Talks Podcast, I'm your host Canine, and welcome to our first Q&A, let's get it. Before we get started, obviously by myself in the studio today, uh, the bro Ren, Ren Min Ten, old double two, double O brother, uh, he, he went down the line for rugby, so obviously best of luck to him, and appreciate everyone who actually sent through some questions, we kind of put it out there as a last minute thing just to see how, I guess, recipro- reciprocal we would be, um, we got quite a lot of questions, so let's get into it. So first question off the block, where do you see Mahi Dogs in 10 years? I can only give my own perspective on that. Uh, we do have a five-year plan. Uh, we'll talk about that at another podcast. But for myself, honestly, I would love for us to kind of be a sustainable business. So our content's acing it. You know, we were across all our area, different areas where we're smoking it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Podcasts are smashing at Spotify, YouTube, Apple Tunes, whatever it's called. Content side, you know, I want that to be smashing it. I also want our clothing to be smashing it. So, you know, we've got our seasonal gears already lined up. We've got our yearly gears lined up. We've got exclusive gears. I kind of want us to expand our own areas as well. So for myself, expanding my own content, creating, and obviously myself becoming a content creator for my own platforms, and also the brothers actually putting themselves out there because I know they've got a lot to offer. Um, and obviously them building their own brand. Um, that way we can kind of get like everyone's brand moving towards Mahi Dogs. But then also they've got their own individual personalities off the side. Property, obviously, well hopefully we can get into property. Investment, so I don't know, crypto, love to get into that. I am in it myself. So if the brothers got into it, that'd be sick, you know. I think... Obviously, I want to make that generational wealth where we kind of got our hands in all the different things that we're doing and we're doing well. So I think, you know, generational and whānau wealth for the brothers that come through Mahi Dogs and for myself, obviously. Raising some Mahi Pups, you know, maybe there's some other brands underneath us. I already know a lot of my students are keen to get into it. You know, how does that look? Is that brands, you know, like a brand family? Put much, t- you know, 10 years is a long time. A lot can change in 10 years, but... I would love to see Mahi Dogs go into just a whole heap of different areas and be able to generate wealth from all of that to help sustain ourselves and anyone else that comes through the Mahi Dogs and those that work for Mahi Dogs. Good question. What do you love most about working on Mahi Dogs? What do I love most about working on Mahi Dogs? Honestly, it's probably... The ability to kind of keep growing myself and not be too stagnant. Like if you were to talk to me maybe two years, two, three years ago, a lot of my efforts, I was just gaming. You know, it wasn't working out. I wasn't doing content creation. wasn't doing podcasts. I had always talked about wanting to do it, but never actually doing it. So I love that I am moving forward progressively with my skills, with my brands, with my finances, with my friends. And I get to do something fun, you know, it's kind of like you've got your main nine to five, which for me is engine room. And then I come home and I get to work on my hobby uh, and my love, which is content creation and Mahi Dogs. So I guess that, and also I get in front of the camera, I'm not going to lie. Um, didn't really like it, but after a few while, after a while, uh, I really enjoy getting in front of the camera. So hopefully we can get the more content out. Who in the Mahi Dogs does the most Mahi? Holy heck. I don't know we're exposing ourselves on this. Well, obviously, uh, this will be episode seven podcast. I've been in all seven podcasts. You know, the bro's been about three. I don't want to say me, but me. <laughs> you know, everyone's, been, everyone's living their own lives. And I, I actually believe that someone's got to be driving a main driving factor. And if that's got to be me, that's got to be me. But I can't talk down i don't know what the correct words is or the correct phrases is sorry but um i cannot yeah kind of talk down the boys mahi you know so like when i call up yo let's us let's get into it the ones that answer the call and come up you know with with their own stuff and their own lives going on um they show up uh so you know i've got nothing but love and respect for the boys um even though you know none of us getting paid and none of us will get paid for a while but that's a goal we want to get to so you know put the mahi in Get the treaties, baby. What color are your undies? Not wearing any at the moment. Commando, let's go. 
joke stripes what inspired your logo love your mahi oh thanks actually I've, you can actually kind of see it in the background but pretty much it was just a little bit of a doodle when we were just trying to start mahi dogs we are looking to actually change it into a little bit more not professional but something a little bit more pretty much if you can see just where the ears are and when it comes down towards the nose nose that's the m and then the rest of the head of that dog is the d so we've got the md in there kind of like you know you got the la and they've got the l a that was kind of the inspiration where cities would use the initials and then create something from it so that was our kind of initials and created something of it next question will you release some mahi wahine kakahu you know what we should be i'm not gonna lie we should be um having a look at our insights uh, majority of our followers are, are wahine but you should let us know in the comments what you know i feel like we try and keep it generally in the middle there so you could buy it either female or male but it's predominantly obviously aimed towards the male market but you know female kakahu you know that's the you know oil skin you can rock the oil skin actually you know what it is it's probably the sizes is probably the biggest thing so getting the correct sizing is what we've got to work on to be able to give i guess reach that wahine market next question who designed the logo because it's mint oh mate yo boy yo boy king nam boo yeah actually yeah i again it was just a doodle that i put up and then i gave to leonard one of our graphic designers and he was able to kind of put it out on print appreciate it you know because you know what people have been bagging me about the logo and they want to upgrade it and stuff you know i still like it so you know shout out to you we were when's the next drop you mean drop the booty no um <laughs> the next drop is hopefully going to be our summer gear um uh, i say hopefully because our boy our main co clothing man oh double the double double two double oh by the down the down the line out of action but we've been trying to figure out how we can keep this going because he's probably going to be flying all over the world again playing rugby and we, we've got to keep the ship moving forward i said ship by the way but hopefully our summer one i, I actually really want to bring out some summer gears i actually want to bring out some of my own gears that i've been looking at uh, i've been like tinkering in the background but i'm actually excited for a lot of the things that we've been talking about last question and spotlight question because it's actually a doozy from the bro we were shot again bro what were some of the hardships on your guys journey up until now jeez let's put it a, that's a deep one brother but i'm going to try and answer it to the best of my knowledge obviously i can only give my own perspective so i'm going to take it on my hardships through the journey of mahi dogs there's definitely been a lot of mental stress you know with social media you know you're not taught to follow the likes and follow the numbers and follow what people think about your content um but it's something that always kind of piques my interest every time i put something up and lately well lately sorry over the years i've just been kind of dialing it back and being neutral so whether a post gets zero likes and or whether a post gets 10k likes humble myself you know like it's, it's it's content that's just going out there people are gonna like it people are gonna dislike it. you know it, it is what it is but i shouldn't be i guess fearful or worry about i guess that social kind of feedback and then you know obviously um the stress of being consistent i know i put a lot of my a lot of stress on myself just to be all right i gotta put something out all right with you know what do i do oh it's gotta be perfect oh i you know um, we've got to get the boys together oh shit um you know the boys aren't doing bit you know the, the boys aren't um cooperating that well you know come on you gotta make it funny i think putting those south pressures and i'm i know i'm gonna get deep here a little bit more um south pressures but not telling anyone that i'm putting that on me it can you know it, it hits really hard so it's very much that kind of mental side of things staying up late not being able to sleep so there are obviously some you know there's some deep stuff there we'll, we'll talk about that in our upcoming series um a hard discussion but yeah man it's 
I would say it's all mental. And I, I'm, also, I'm, I'm obviously good. I, I kind of learn from the battles as I go throughout. Uh, but it doesn't mean it doesn't affect you in that way. Woo! Woo! That's a bit of a, a bit of a tough one. Um, but I'd love to get, I'd love to delve deeper into that um, more. And obviously, actually, you know, I'd love to bring you on the podcast to actually ask that question because it's quite a, it's a, it's, it's a question that you wouldn't really think off the top of your head to ask for the podcast. And I, I like that thinking. So I'd love to invite you along to the podcast, bro, and just kind of scratch your head. And obviously, you know, maybe if you're dealing with anything, I'm dealing with stuff. Who knows? But either way, I really appreciate that, that comment. All right, so I'm going to wrap it up there because that question was actually probably the best one to finish on. Once again, appreciate you guys for tuning in to the Mate Talks podcast. Those that sent any questions in, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I didn't actually expect to get that many questions back. Um, you guys know who you are. Love you. Love you. I'm looking at the camera, which means I'm looking at you. Love you. Audio listeners, point at the camera. Love you. But from myself, K9 from the Mahi Dogs, I appreciate you for tuning in. Much love, and I'll see you guys at the next episode. Peace.